Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In this video, I am going to show you step by step installation and configuration of Splunk SDK for Python. So guys, before we begin, let us see what Splunk SDK for Python is capable of. So I am going to use a, uh, my web browser to write a query and uh, in index internal, I am going to make a search. So the stats command is capable of giving us the columns. One is the node type which has category, feature and product and uh, the count which is giving the counts of these items. What if I told you that this can be automated by a Python script and this is what the Splunk Python or uh, the Splunk SDK for Python is capable of. So I'm going to use my command prompt to run the script. So uh, here I copy paste my you know the commands and all we'll see what all this are in this video and here we have the XML output for the search command which we just use so in this video we are going to see that how we got all these sort of outputs by this stay tuned till the end the first step is to install or download the Splunk SDK for Python from the Google. So I'm going to write this Splunk SDK for Python and in dev splunk.com I'm going to get it. So I open the link and on the right hand side there's a green button from which we can download the SDK. We single click on it and a zip file gets a start downloading. So guys uh, next to this we are going to extract all the files from the zip folder we have just downloaded as I've extracted all of them already so I'm directly going to show you how they look like so here is Splunk SDK Python 1.6.6 and if you open it another folder and this is what Splunk development kit for Python is there the next step is to set the system variables so I'm going to the properties of this PC and in that advanced system settings so guys this is an important step if you have not already mentioned the Python in your system variables then you need to create a new one so I click new I write Python underscore home sorry home and the variable value is now the location of Python where I have installed it's in C Python 27 the Python version I'm using is 2.7.13 now in the path of system variables I'm going to do a double click I create a new environment variable and in modular modular Python underscore home now it can understand wherever a Python is written okay let's uh, do a check I'm again going to command prompt and I'm going to write just uh, P sorry Python uh, yeah it's working fine So guys, the next step is going to install the pip for Splunk SDK. So I need to get some particular libraries and I need to uh, install it in the scripts for Python so that Splunk, uh, sorry, the Python can understand whatever I am writing. So I'm doing pip install Splunk SDK. I have already installed so I will be getting a message that it is already uh, satisfied. As you can see, requirement already satisfied. So if you, uh, your computer must not have this thing so it will start downloading it so guys this is one of the another most important step and in this in the C users and the current user we are going to create a file of dot Splunk RC so I'm using notepad.exe dot Splunk R and C okay so I uh, simply press the enter in order to create it come on okay okay so uh, I need to want I want to create it and over here now we will go back to the Splunk from where we have downloaded and we'll click on utilities on the utilities page there is uh, some there is this information given over here about Splunk now we are going to copy paste it over there now this file will be telling Splunk what is my host what are my port and what is my username and the password 
so that every time you run a script it doesn't ask for your credentials so I write the password it's changed before me as scheme is, a scheme is HTTPS this is an important thing and we just save it and close it so guys uh, now we are at the final stage where we are going to actually run a Python script so I am going to write Python I put a space and now I'm going to the destination where my Splunk SDK for Python has been installed oh sorry I downloaded sorry so here's my folder it's in my downloads and the example is a folder in which all the Python scripts are being kept as an example to the user I'm going to use the script search search.py so I paste it now I'm going to write the name of this script this uh, search.py after that I'm going to put two quotes and in which I'm going to write search and a space now I'm going to copy paste the query from here because I don't like typing it entirely okay so I, I'm going to copy it and I'm going to press enter now for the first time it will take some time to load it because first time it is initializing all your credential and all so this is gonna take a while so guys you can see this is the power of Splunk SDK for Python and uh, here are here are our results hope you like this video and uh, if you have any doubt you can post it in the comments you can put, uh, give me suggestions for my next videos and please make sure that you subscribe and like the channel and like this video Thank you guys. See you till next time.